The garden news behind the camera. Good morning. Uh, we found these buckets at a garage sale type uh, place that uh, sells a whole bunch of antiques and stuff like that. Uh, we usually pay quite a bit for these, but we got a really good deal. And we're going to do some updating on them. We're going to paint them and sand them, or sand them and paint them. And then uh, we're going to plant up some fall containers. Uh, we got several plants. We got to visit a nursery yesterday. We got to go to the East Texas Arboretum yesterday where they were having a uh, benefit sale for the Arboretum. And we really picked up some really cool stuff. And we will show those in just a little bit. Um, but we're going to get started on these and at least get one of them done here pretty soon and uh, get some planting done. Okay, a few tools that we have gathered for this job. We've got our uh, rowdy, which we usually use to mulch them anyway, our, with a uh, wire brush paint on here. We've got some orbital sanders with some eight feet sandpaper. we got our rust our rust oleum hammered metal paint that we're going to be covering it with and a wire brush and some other sandpaper. It's going to take a lot of elbow grease on these and we're going to fast forward all this but you can see the process and hopefully when we're done it'll look like something. Stay with us. Okay, so you can see the difference, how they turned out. Um, the garden nude thinks he should have used a uh, black hammer on the bands, uh, but I really like the way it turned out. Uh, you can see the difference between the bands and the wood, and the wood has soaked up uh, due to it being weathered. It did really soak it up, and it's, I think it looks great. And uh, we're gonna plant these up, see what they look like. In the meantime, I'm going to finish this one to make it look like this one. And Cindy's gonna take you on a quick uh, plant tour out front. And we'll see you in a minute. Here are the plants that we were discussing earlier. We picked them up from Home Depot, uh, from Lowe's, and from the East Texas Arboretum. We also went and visited a nursery yesterday and picked a few things up there too. We have the uh, red fountain grass. We have salvia. These are called wine and roses. Weedula, I guess that's how you pronounce it. And then he got 
these from Home Depot. Um, they're beautiful. I love this one. For Vincus. We have the Mexican Petunias, which, by the way, we were told that they're very invasive. So wherever you put them, you should be able to control them by mowing around them. And then these are Casillas. Beautiful little yellow flowers. We have Petunias. Uh, kale, cabbage, um, mums, pepper plants, lantana, more mums. We also have the uh, the dwarf version of coleus. Mexican sage, which by the way, we're trying to still build our foundation for the hummingbirds, and they have been all over this this morning. And then there's some more Mexican petunia. And I haven't decided where we're going to put this pot yet and replant it. Okay, welcome back. We got our pots in place, which was not an easy task. They're fairly heavy, but we wanted to put them in place before we planted these up because they're going to be very, very heavy now. First, we got to uh, get this thing filled up with soil. We're just using, a, as you see. Just a cheap potting mix, raised beds. Now it took more than a bag. We had about a half a bags worth in the bottom before we started this. You gotta leave room in there for getting your plants down in there, but We try to leave as much as we can so we don't have to fill in. Now what we're putting in here, proven winners, which we love, but we can't find many of around here. And that's a wine and roses. Weedula. Weedula. And that's gonna be our thriller, I guess. grass on the inside. Oh, no. Purple fountain grass. This is an annual. It'll come back. You just chop it off. It probably will not winter in this pot. Well, we're not going to let it winter in this pot. We'll probably put it out. But. Peppers on this side? <clears throat> yes. These are midnight fire peppers. Get it up here close. You don't want it too close to the yeah, other one. Know. 
that should be a good contrast, I think. You want your mum on that side? Yes. Read what that is. It's a autumn mum. Autumn about. red mum. In the fall like this, you can really pack these things in full because there's not a lot of the growing season left. So uh, you can pack them tight, not have to worry about no, we're not ready for taking that. up too much space. Where are we are. We need the, the taller. These are just some little pansies. I'm not sure what color that's called, just an autumn color. Gorgeous little things. And then a little blue to violas. Yeah, these are violas. short on spillers and we need a spiller. Thriller, filler, spiller. Where'd you get that from? Uh, Laura from Garden Answers, I think, which we love. Watch her videos, they're awesome. We also, but we have some pot where we have the white mom, the yellow. This will be pink when it comes out. I like the peppers. Hey too. Okay, now we're gonna go move on to pot number two, which we've already got in place over here. 
Okay, changing plans. We decided we didn't like the way that turned out. So we're going to change a couple of items up. So we decided to go with pink. And then we're back feeling. You didn't play pink what? The pink pansy. Right? Yes. shot of the whole thing and see what we came up with. And here's the finished product. Those are all future projects. Uh, quite the dramatic change from where we started with the little, the little pots. Back up to Those are the pots we straightened out last week. You may have watched. Since we turned them back, the stuff still more fancy. Look at that purple pepper plant. That was just Thank you guys for joining us. 